Uh, hello, everybody. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Maryam Abdelaziz Haq. I work for Bahrain Development Bank in the Development Services Division. So I'm here today to talk about um, Bahrain Development Bank and how we support SMEs uh, in order to help you in your project as you start. So first of all, I'll be talking about um, the <coughs> bank's financial services and a general overview about what the bank really does. Okay, so I'll get right to it, to the financial services overview. So looking at Bahrain Development Bank, first of all, I'd like to say that the bank was established in 1991 and we started as a, an industrial development bank. So our main aim was to develop the um, SMEs within the industrial sector, as in manufacturing. So as the bank grew, we've matured, of course, more, and we've been exposed to different sectors in the market. And therefore, we started to look at different sectors. <clears throat> so now the bank covers all types of sectors in the economy, whether it's tourism, services, education, fisheries and agriculture, um, trade, you name it, all types of businesses. All right, so who, what uh, the bank is, or what behind development, development the bank is, sorry, uh, we are an effective public policy instrument that basically helps create and develop SMEs. So we, our products and services are mainly tailored according to the national economic objectives. So they are basically in order to serve these, these objectives. Uh, the bank generally offers financial and non-financial services. So basically we give money and we also uh, provide non-financial support as in development services. So <clears throat> I'm going to go over what, how um, these services are offered in the coming few slides. So we have a common shared objective among our divisions to add value to Bahaini entrepreneurs. So our main concern are the SMEs, small and medium enterprises, in creating them, developing them, growing them into further, um, furthering their potential, basically. Okay, so what the bank aims to do, th this is who we are, and what we aim to do right now is, first of all, to create a holistic uh, ecosystem for entrepreneurs. So our products, our services, our schemes, our relationships with other organizations in, um, in Bahrain in general, whether it's Tim Keen or all the legislative organizations, uh, we work closely with them to create a full system for entrepreneurs to start from their beginning all the way to their expansion. Um, we also want to encourage innovation. So we want people to be innovative when it comes to their project ideas in terms of how they um, develop their products, how they grow, and how they basically become successful. Obviously, when we empower SMEs, uh, small and medium enterprises, we grow uh, a startup and existing uh, SME into the regional and international markets. So we're not only looking to have the SMEs locally, we want them to grow even outside of Bahrain. And obviously, as we grow SMEs, definitely we will uh, contribute to generating employment opportunities. So any SME will hire uh, employees, whether they're Bahraini or foreign, and therefore create job opportunities through them and, and support the economy. <coughs> All right, so I'll cut right to the chase of the, the types of products and services that we have. We have, as I mentioned earlier, financial products, and we have uh, development services. I'm going to focus uh, in this presentation on the financial products. So we'll go over them one by one. Okay, so we have term loans, <coughs> conventional as in non-Islamic. So a term loan is basically a long-term um, financing facility. Uh, as you can see over here, we the minimum we give is 3,000 dinars and uh, our rate is 9.5 reducing balance. So as you pay your facility, you're charged based on the remaining balance of your uh, your facility. And these kinds of loans are long term, so they cover the establishment, as in buying equipment, machines, uh, setting up decoration, you name it, as well as your running expenses, like, for example, uh, rent, salaries, uh, utilities, whatever it is that you have on a monthly basis to be paying. So that overall is, is covered in the uh, finance facility. The same applies for the Islamic schemes that we have. We have uh, a scheme with Timkeen, where Timkeen are basically paying half of the uh, profits. So the minimum amount for this scheme is 5,000 dinars, with the rate of 4.27% per annum. Uh, out of that, Timkeen are paying 50%. So you're actually paying an average of 2%, 2.1% for the facility that you're getting, which is quite cheap when you compare you know, to other sources of funding in Bahrain. So, uh, 
Um, the same applies. It's a long-term facility, so you basically uh, cover the equipment, machines, setup, the, all the startup expenses, plus your monthly expenses that you have to pay um, over a period of time. So the repayment, the repayment options, uh, usually, we provide a flexible, let's say, six-month grace period. So after the six months, once the project has, you know, started running, you start generating income, then you can start actually repaying. So, and the repayment is usually on installments. So you'd either provide checks or maybe um, guarantees from your personal income or any other business that you have right now to support you in repaying for the facility. We have also uh, indirect financing. So not everything we provide in terms of our services is actual money. Sometimes the entrepreneur would need indirect financing. Let's say uh, a small company um, needs to purchase m machines or equipment from a major supplier in Europe, for example. So they're setting up a factory here and they need to purchase equipment from Germany, all right, for example. Um, so a, a big uh, manufacturer would say, okay, you're a small company, you're a startup, I don't know you, so how would you, how would I guarantee that you're going to pay me, right? So they would come to the bank and we could offer them something called a letter of credit. So if you could see this here, letter, letter of credit, LC we'd call that. So the letter of credit basically is just a facility where we open an account here in Bahrain, in our um, bank basically, Bahrain Development Bank, and the supplier would also open um, a bank account there and it would be a bank-to-bank -bank transaction. So the aim of this is to ensure that first of all, all documentation is uh, secure, to make sure both parties you know, commit to their uh, responsibilities in the transaction. So the SME would, the small company basically, would have um, a guarantee to the supplier and the same from the supplier to protect you as, as the uh, entrepreneur. Because what happens is sometimes people would order equipment or whatever it is and it never gets delivered. So that way we're securing both sides of the transaction. Sometimes for this kind of facility, sometimes the entrepreneur would have the money. So we would just open the account and do all the documentation part um, and the checking and all of that. But some people actually do require the financing. So it's sort of a, a co combined kind of, uh, <coughs> kind of facility. So we would offer you the funding and we'd also open the bank account and do the, do the transaction and, and allow you to repay it on installments, basically. So it's a bit easier for you in terms of having the money. So how much do we charge for that? Uh, we take a commission of 1.5% per annum, so per transaction. So for every transaction you do through us, whether the funding is from us or from your side, we take a small percentage to cover all the administrative costs and all the associated services that are uh, provided here. Uh, we do also offer something called the letter of guarantee. So <clears throat> what is the letter of guarantee? It's called the LG as well, if you've, if you've heard of that. A lot of the startup companies uh, get into uh, big projects. For example, they want a tender with, um, I'll give you one, one small example. Um, a contracting company has won a tender with the uh, Ministry of Education. And they are basically going to build 10 schools according to the ministry's specifications. All right. So the ministry would say, OK, you're a startup company. How can I know if you are going to meet the specifications that I set? All right. So <clears throat> the SME would say, OK, I have no guarantees, but what I could do is I could provide you with a letter of guarantee from Bahrain Development Bank, where if the small company has received uh, an advance payment from the ministry and have not met the specifications of the ministry, we would actually um, reimburse the ministry that advance payment. That applies to all types of projects that, inc that include uh, performance uh, protection. So what we'd do, we'd analyze the company, we'd look at its accounts, we'd look at its profile, um, and basically analyze the potential of the company and enable them through guaranteeing them with this letter of guarantee. So it would only be materialized when the SME actually fails to meet the uh, performance specifications in whatever project they have. All right, so <clears throat> I hope I'm not talking too fast. I'll move on to the other service that we also have. We off offer as well uh, equity participation. So let's say you're establishing a big project and you need huge uh, capital, let's say 500,000 BD. So sometimes it's not, very, it's not the, ultimate, the uh, ultimate solution to uh, obtain a loan for that because you'd be paying a lot of interest or a lot of profit for it. So we would suggest, on the other hand, another option, which is where the bank can become your partner in the project. So we would take parts of the equity 
uh, from the project. So the maximum amount we can contribute as a percentage of the capital is 20%. So if your project is costing around 100,000 dinars, out of that we would contribute 20,000. Um, yes, 20,000, and that would, equivalent, that would be equivalent to 20%. Or even if we've contributed financially more than that, our maximum share is 20%. And then the remaining 80% can either be funded through a loan or maybe if you have your own investments, maybe other investors, etc. There are different options for that. And the reason why we only participate with 20% is because we don't want to be a major uh, shareholder. Um, the bank basically is regulated by the central bank where we are just there to support you, to guide you. We're on the board, involved in major decisions for the company, but we're not involved in the day-to-day -day operations, the day-to-day -day, um, you know, decisions. So, so that's the, the aim of this and obviously our role is to push you, to guide you, to give you that credibility. It's always great to have a bank um, sponsoring you and that would be uh, very secure for any potential new investors or any big projects that you want to go through. So that's another option we're offering. Uh, fi fisheries and agriculture finance. This is something actually a bit unique that Behind Development Bank has. And what's even more unique is that it is zero interest rate loan. So whatever you'd get from the bank, you'd actually repay it as you've received on installments. So there's no interest, there's no profit there. Um, the aim of this is obviously to develop the fisheries and agriculture sector in Bahrain. We want to be uh, sustainable, right? We want to have our own sources of our own food. We don't have to import everything. Bahrain used to export some of its, some of its food products, but now we're importing the majority of our requirements. So what we'd do is we'd fund up to a maximum of 15,000 dinars and that would be for specifically for licensed uh, fishermen and um, farmers. So if you have your registered, you're a licensed fisherman or um, a farmer, then you could obtain this amount and it would cover, for example, your daily supplies. For example, if it's a fisherman, you could have bait, uh, fishing rods, hooks, whatever, you name it basically. And um, <clears throat> also the, the major equipment, like, you know, the Bahraini um, traditional boats, they call them banush. We cover that as well. Maybe small boats, whatever equipment you actually need. Um, the, um, what do they call it? The engines for your boats, these kinds of things. And the same applies for farmers. For example, greenhouse, uh, you know, materials, uh, seeds, all, all sorts of supplies. All right, so, and we have uh, a collaboration here with the Ministry of, um, of Finance, where they are very keen as well on supporting this kind of initiative. Other types of loans we're offering right now is um, the educational loans. So we obviously want Bahrainis to develop their skills, their knowledge, to become up to date to the international standards, whether they're entrepreneurs or individuals. So we offer cheap uh, financing option for them. We have a, the profit rate for this is 4,000 dinars. And the minimum amount is 3,000. Maximum is around 20,000 dinars. And we do give you a grace period in order to repay it on installments. So if you're willing to do your bachelor's degree, master's, or PhD, certain uh, um, <clears throat> professional uh, certifications as well, um, you'd, you'd have the option to repay it. Whether you're working as a student and an employee, you can repay it yourself. Or you could actually have a family member um, support you. Or, or any partner you have. All right, so this is just uh, very briefly the uh, financial services that the bank is offering. All right, thank you very much. Uh, so I hope this was very beneficial. If you'd like to know more about our financial services, you can come to any of our branches. We have plenty of branches in Bahrain. You can contact us at Bahrain Development Bank. Um, I'll also uh, mention an email that you can uh, email us on, ruwad, R-O-W-A-D, at B-D-B, dash bh.com. All right, you can also contact me personally. Uh, my email is uh, Maryam Ishaq, M Ishaq, M-I-S-H-A-Q, at bdb bh.com. So you can contact me and we can always have a meeting and we'd go over all the services that we have and see what works best for you. So thank you very much and best of luck to you all.